Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow irregular polygon A, B, C, D, E, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, A, B is uh, 5 units, its side length uh, B, C is uh, 2 units, and finally, its uh, side length uh, D is uh, 3 units. And moreover, this angle AED is 135 degrees, whereas all these other angles are 90 degrees each. And now our task is to calculate the area of this yellow shaded polygon ABCDE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know this angle is 135 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. And likewise, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, we must calculate this angle as well before we move any further. And in this next step, we are going to calculate the interior angles of this polygon A, B, C, D, E. And now let's recall the interior angle sum formula. Interior angle sum is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n represents the number of polygon sides. And in our case, our polygon sides are n equals to 5. So let's go ahead and calculate the interior angle sum of this given polygon. So in our case, n is 5. So this is going to be 5 uh, minus uh, 2 times over here. I'm going to multiply with uh, 180 degrees. That is going to be 540 degrees. Let me go ahead and label uh, this angle as uh, alpha. Then uh, sum of all uh, these uh, angles must be equal to 540 degrees. So let me go ahead and copy down. We got uh, 90 degrees plus uh, 135 degrees plus uh, 90 degrees plus 90 degrees once again plus uh, our angle alpha equals to 540 degrees. And if we add uh, all these uh, like terms, we are going to get uh, 405 degrees plus angle alpha is going to be equal to 540 degrees. Let's subtract uh, 405 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our angle alpha turns out to be 135 degrees. So therefore, our this uh, unknown angle alpha turns out to be 135 degrees. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have extended uh, this line uh, CD all the way to this uh, point uh, P and on the other side to this point uh, T. And as a result, we got these uh, two triangles, this triangle uh, TDE and this uh, triangle uh, PBC. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees. And we know that this angle is uh, 135 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And we know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And now let's focus uh, on this angle, 135 degrees. We know that this whole angle is 180 degrees, uh, the straight angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And now since this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is uh, 45 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, PBC. Let me label the area of this uh, triangle as uh, A sub 1. The area of this uh, yellow polygon I'm going to label is A. And I'm going to label uh, the area of this uh, triangle TDE as 
a sub two. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, bigger triangle uh, TAP. This whole uh, triangle is our TAP triangle. Is going to be equal to the area of this uh, yellow polygon plus uh, the area a sub one. This area and finally plus area a sub two. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow polygon. So therefore, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big triangle uh, TAP, the area A sub one and uh, area A sub two as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, TDE, and we can see this is an isosceles triangle since this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, side length uh, ED is going to be equal to this side length uh, TD. If this side length is uh, three units, then this side length has got to be three as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, TDE. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula: area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, our base is three, and the height is uh, three as well. And the area is being represented by a sub two. So therefore, the area a sub two is going to be equal to one divided by two times base is three times height is three as well. So therefore, uh, the area a sub two turns out to be nine. Uh, Divided by two square units, and now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, PBC, and we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle uh, as well, since this angle is 45 degrees uh, and this angle is uh, 45 degrees as well, and since this is an isosceles triangle, so therefore uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be equal to this side length uh, BP. If this side length is uh, two. Then this side length uh, BP is going to be two units as well, and now we are going to calculate uh, of this uh, triangle uh, PBC as well. The area is being represented by a sub one, and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula: area equals to a half times base uh, times height, and in our case, uh, our base is a two, and the height is two as well. So therefore, our area a sub one. Uh, Is going to be equal to one divided by two times uh, two times two once again. So therefore, if we simplify our area, a sub one uh, turns out to be two square units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle TAP. This whole uh, big uh, triangle, and we can see this is an isosceles triangle since this angle equals to This angle, both of them are 45 degrees. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, TA is going to be equal to this side length uh, AP. And now we can see that this side length uh, AP is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths. Five uh, plus two is going to make uh, seven. So therefore, if this side length uh, is uh, seven, then this side length uh, has got to be seven as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big triangle uh, TAP. And now let's recall once again the area of triangle formula. And in our case, our base is seven and the height is seven as well. So therefore, the area of this big triangle uh, TAP is going to be one divided by two times uh, seven times uh, seven. And if we simplify everything, that is going to give us uh, 49 uh, divided by two square units. And here's our final step. Let's recall this uh, equation once again. The bigger triangle TAP area equals to area A plus area A sub one plus area A sub two. And we already figured out our area A sub one, area A sub two, and the area of this bigger triangle uh, TAP. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks over here. So I'm going to write down 49 uh, divided by two equal to The area A plus area A sub one is two uh, 
plus area a sub 2 is 9 divided by 2 and if we add uh, these two numbers on the right hand side that is going to give us 13 divided by 2 and now we are going to subtract 13 divided by 2 from both sides so this is uh, gone so therefore our a value turns out to be 49 divided by 2 minus uh, 13 divided by 2 and if we simplify everything uh, our area a turns out to be 18 square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow polygon turns out to be 18 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye